Thank you. You're watching the Weiss Channel. Da -da 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 -da. Today we're going to write sine in terms of cosine and cosine in terms of sine. All right. Very easy, but you just have to pay attention to see what's going on. Okay. For example, write sine 37 in terms of cosine. All right. So here's 37. What's sine? Remember Sokotoa, right? Sine is what over what? Opposite over hypotenuse. Thank you very much. Opposite over hypotenuse. What's opposite 37? Five. Five. And what's the hypotenuse? 13. 13, right? So sine 37 equals 5 over 13 in this case, right? So cosine what would make 5 over 13? Does it make sense that cosine would have to be right here? Because cosine of whatever this is would be adjacent over hypotenuse. Does that make sense? Sine of 5 over 13, in this case, would be the same as the cosine of this angle. Cosine of this angle is adjacent 5 over 13, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Say no if you don't understand what I'm saying. Okay, so would you agree that if I was talking about this angle here, mm -hmm. what's adjacent to this angle? Five. Five. What's the hypotenuse? Thirteen. Co that would make cosine, because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Meaning sine five over 13 is the same as cosine five over 13. You see what I'm saying? But now, in order to do that, I need to know what the measure of this angle is. So what's the measure of this angle? Well, first of all, in a right triangle, okay, if you have a 90 degree angle, first of all, how many degrees are there in a, in a triangle? 180, right? 180 degrees in any triangle, right? If this guy's 90, then these two have to add up to what? 90. 90, right? No matter what, these two angles must add up to 90, right? If this is a 90 degree angle here. So if this is 37, how do I figure out what this guy is? 90 minus 37. 90 minus 37, thank you, Charlotte. Okay. 90 minus 37. What is 90 minus 37? 53. The answer here is cosine 53. Okay? Meaning, here's all you have to do today. If I say write sine 37 in terms of cosine, then it's going to be cosine whatever 90 minus 37 is. So all you have to do today is take this number and do 90 minus that number and, tr and write the other function. If it's sine, you're going to write cosine. If it's cosine, you're going to write sine. For example, cosine 64 is going to be sine what? In other words, what's the other angle? No, 64? Cosine 64 oh. is going to be sine what? 36? Uh, 26. 26, right? Because 64 plus 26 is 90. 64 plus 36 is 100, right? So it's sine 26, okay? Look at your paper right now that I've already given out. Okay, look at 1A, okay? 1A says sine 36. I'm sorry, sine 35. Sine 35 is the same as cosine what? 55. Why? What did you do? You took 90 minus 35, right? Cosine 55. What's cosine 82? Cosine 82 is sine what? 
Say it louder. Eight. eight. Right? Why? Because it's 90 minus 82. So all right? All of these are always 90 minus. Always. All of them are 90 paper. minus. All of them. But you also have to write the other function. Okay? <coughs> yes? Could you use my paper? Because I grabbed the wrong one. That's what it is. Okay? So there was at the end, that's what it is. It says write 53, um, sine 53 in terms of cosine, which means it's going to be cosine what? Sine 53 is cosine what? 37. That's all you have to do. You've been watching the Weiss channel. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Da-da-da.